Okay, so it's been a few days since I sewed this together, so I let it hang on a hanger because things that are on the bias tend to be affected by gravity a little bit more because they're on the bias, and so I let it hang for probably about three days so that I could get a really get the hem to kind of stop being so wonky, and I'm going to cut it to the sizes that I actually want. And now that I'm trying it on, I can see that there's a little bit extra on the underarms than I would like. So I'm going to take that out and show you how to get that out of there so that you aren't having big baggy like that if you need to make an alteration on yours. So I have my lovely friend Sarah who is going to help me with this. Hi. Because when you're doing alterations and things, it's not really a great idea to do it on yourself because it's really hard to get it accurate. So she's going to help me with it. Alrighty then. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take it in a little bit because you can see this extra fabric up here is really what I want to get rid of. So she's just going to pull it in a bit and then we're going to take it back out so that it goes right back out. Okay, so now I have pins on this side of where I want to take it in and then I'm going to just mirror that on the other side once I have it off and on the table. And then we put a pin on the side where I want it to stop and then down here on the other side because like the picture I'm going to do a diagonal cut along it so I can lay it out flat on the table, just connect it with the ruler and cut it off. Okay, so now that I've marked off where I want the hem of the dress to be, I'm going to do that first really fast. I'm just going to take my two safety pins that I have here, take my ruler, and I'm just going to make a line between the two that I can just cut a nice straight line and hem it from there. Now I can take that and I'm going to hem the inside my beige layer. I'm going to take it and roll it on itself twice, so I'll show you guys how to do that. And on the outer layer, I'm just going to attach my fringe to it. All right, so now that I have this pinned where I need to take it in, what I'm going to do is just measure everything out and duplicate it on the other side of the dress. All right, so I have my box of safety pins. All right, so on this side of the dress where I have my pins, from the underarm seam down to where my safety pin for the zero point is, is 11 and 3 quarter inches. So we're just going to go over to the other side of the dress, flip this guy over, lay it out nice and flat, get my safety pin ready, and I'm going to line myself right up with that corner again, and right at 11 and 3 quarters, I'm going to put my safety pin right in. All right, so now I know that that's my zero point. So I'm gonna go back over to the other side. All right, so up at the top here, I have it coming in. All right, so right at the top, I have it coming in at an inch and a half. And so, and then we ended up taking more from the back than we did from the front. So right where my side seam is, looks like it's right at about 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to replicate all of that on the other side. And then everything should just go straight to that zero. All right, and then I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line from my point where the safety pin is straight down to the zero mark and I'll be able to flip it inside out and take that extra fabric out. All right, so because I want to keep the way that I have finished off this armhole intact, I'm going to rip out just a little bit of this seam so that when I do end up flipping these guys and shortening it, I can still reclose it as a nice clean seam. All right, so what I did is I ripped the seam open just past, this is my little mark on the inside, so I ripped it just past that so that I can have full access to what I need. 
So I'm just going to take the dress and turn the layers inside out again. And I'm going to pin them together at the new width. So I'm going to match up those lines that I made earlier. Okay, so I have my adjustments pinned in and I have my line that I'm going to follow. And so instead of following the blue tape on here, I'm just going to follow my line straight down where I need my seam to be. And that will bring in the fabric exactly the amount that I want it to. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do the hem on the lining really fast. So how I like to do hem is I like to roll it so that the exposed edge is hidden within the hem. And I find it easiest to press it as I'm going so that it just stays really nice and crisp so that when I sew it, I don't have any issues. And since this is a straight line, it'll be really easy to sew down the road. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, heat up my iron first. Action. All right, so I'm just going to take it and fold it about a quarter of an inch back and just keep it even all along. You can do this with a ruler if you would prefer to get a really clean edge. For me, I'm okay with just rolling it back and eyeballing it. And then just take your iron and press it. And just try and keep it at about the same amount as you go down. Alright, so then once you have that first one pressed, then just take it, match up where you're going to roll it with that extra edge, or with that raw edge, just match it up as you roll it. And then what I would do is just press it again so that you get another nice clean edge so that when you're sewing it, it all stays nicely together and you don't really have to worry about if the pins are falling out or anything. And then you can go around and pin it so that it stays really secure. But what you're going to end up with is just this nice little roll thing. So you have the edge coming in and then rolling it on itself. And then when you sew it, you're just going to stitch right along this edge so that you catch both layers in there and encase it into a nice hem. So as you can see we've taken in the sides and I like the fit of it but there's still a little bit of extra gapping and the sleeve, the shoulders just kind of rise on their own so I'm going to take those in as well. I have hemmed the bottom and this side over here is a little bit short but it's going to have the tassel fringe on it and so I kind of like the fact that it's a little bit short because a little bit of sex appeal to it. And then this side is nice and long. So Sarah is once again going to help me with pinning up one of the shoulders so that we can... Ah, hair is a mess. That's okay. She's wearing her beautiful black dress that she's been working on with me today. So, and we've obviously been playing with jewelry. Okay. All right, so now that those are pinned, I'm going to do the same thing of taking out the seam and fixing it on the inside, and then I'm going to sew it all back together and start on the fringe. Alright, so now that all my alterations are done on the top of the dress, I'm going to attach my fringe to my lace layer so that that will be nice and finished off, just like my inner hem is here. So I'm going to double layer my trim because I bought a short trim and a long trim. So first I'm going to put my long trim in place. So I have this nice long cream trim. I'm going to start down here on the bottom tip of the corner because when it comes around that's going to be the easiest place to hide it is right around the back here. So I'm going to start slightly on the back so that I can overlap them when they come around. And I'm just going to line up the bottom. So I am lining up the bottom of the lace right here with the edge of the trim right where the coil of the trim stops and the actual fringe starts. And I'm just going to go around with some pins and pin it in place. Alright, so now that I have the longer fringe on, I have my shorter layer of fringe here. 
then I'm just going to lay right over the top and pin in place. And since that first layer is already on there, it should make it really easy to just put this second guy on. So I'm just going to start them around the same place at the back here and just go around the hood again. So now I have my two layers of fringe lined up on top of each other right on top of the lace. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew around it and I'm actually going to do two rows of stitching just to make sure that it stays really secure. So I'm going to do one at the bottom and one at the top. So I'm going to do the top one first and then the bottom. All right, so now I have all the fringe attached, you can see, and it's all lined and ready to go. So everything is fitting the way that I want it to. So step one is done. I just need to do some embellishment and get this show on the road.